Now the question was, what if we don't need to do that? All right, then we need to write our own routing, which is user-defined routing. Let's go to routing table. I'm going to configure one routing table to demonstrate this one. Uh, for an example, let's go in there and then select the you know, subscription, select the uh, resource group, region is, let's say, East US. Uh, yeah, East US. And the name is, uh, let's say, uh, demo table, right? So that's it, sorry, it shouldn't have a uh, space. And then uh, prepare gateway routes. You don't propagate gateway routes. We don't need to do that. So we created a routing table. So now we create a routing table. The next, uh, you know, a step is associating a routing table and creating required routes. That is something similar to the way that we did with network security groups. And if you compare network security groups and routing table, these are two things, okay? Network security group is traffic filter, whereas uh, the routing table is uh, help us to reach the destination. It's like a locator, right? So I hope you understand. So we created uh, the routing table, and once you create the routing table, we can start creating routes, we can start creating routes. For example, one route would be, now route would be, let's say no internet, right? So then we can, sorry, the route would be no internet and specific uh, destination IP address, right? So destination IP address would be, let's say 192.168.1.5, right? So this is the IP address and the prefix is 24. That is actually, Sorry, right? Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, zero, zero, 024. This is the region. And the next hop type would be virtual network, internet, virtual appliance, or none, right? So you can select any anything. Uh, let's say virtual appliance. And the next hop address is 192.168.1.5. Uh, right? So then we created one route. So routing is, as I said before, it, it shows the destination, okay? Now, how to associate? The next one is, let's go to our virtual network. And then I'm gonna select this one here. And then I'm gonna to go to bus, uh, subnet. And then I'm gonna select any subnet that you need to. And then I associate my routing table, which is demo table. So once you do that, the traffic will be routed and then System defined routing will be override by user defined routing. So, and then that is how it works, right? So then we can configure this one. By doing so, we can, uh, you know, uh, force the internet or force the network traffic through 192.168 according to this one, not the uh, other way around. I mean, uh, from this gateway, it will route the traffic to uh, somewhere else. Because of that, we will we are disturbing, for example, internet, something like that, right? So it, it, it is how it works.